Hey guys, how are you doing today? So today, I'm going to show you a better way of deleting files. Now, ever since Windows first started, there's been many ways of deleting files. And since Windows first started, a major thing is reading, writing, and deleting files. So typically, when someone wants to delete a file, what they just do is... So let me just make a file to delete in the first place. They will just hit the delete button on the keyboard, but that's not the best way of deleting files. Because what happens is, you guys know this by now, it's still in the recycle bin, so it's not completely deleted. Then you have to go to the recycle bin and hit the delete over here, or just click empty the recycle bin and click yes. So, how about you find a better way of deleting files? so it doesn't go to the recycle bin because most of the time you're not, you're not going to restore the file anyway so just a waste of space so what you do is just you just have to hit one extra key while you're deleting hold the shift key and then delete the file now this is one way of deleting a file so then it doesn't go to the recycle bin so now if I go to my recycle bin stole nothing you so yeah and now what about those files that can't be deleted so you know all those files that you open in word and while word is still editing it they can't be deleted or anything how how are you going to delete that so now i see some people going on the internet and downloading programs just to delete those files let me tell you something you go on the internet and you download a program, what does that do? You add more space. And those programs are useless, to be honest with you. You have everything you need to delete those files. If you guys don't, haven't heard, there's a program called CMD, which is Command Prompt, which you could do a lot with. So search for CMD, and you could delete the files with Command Prompt. So right click the file, click Properties. This is the file location. So copy this. So now all you have to do is hit delete. And in quotes, put the file location. So just paste it. And uh, then what you're going to do is put the file itself. And the, then the file extension. And by the way, this is cap sensitive. And just hit it. And then the files deleted. Now that wasn't a read-only file, but if like a file can't be deleted because of whatever is it's still open or something, by doing that you don't have to download anything because you have a tool that's already on your computer and you could delete it better. So yeah, why should you download something when you already have the tools to do it? And if you don't know that too much about CMD, you should really learn about CMD. It's pretty useful. Doesn't just do that. Uh, if you type in help, you could see all these commands that you could do with CMD. You could shut down the computer and all that. And the shut down command, shut down slash s. Uh, which commands do I use a lot? Well, I don't use CMD a lot anymore, but I still remember most of these commands. Net users and all that. So anyway, CMD is a pretty good tool, and you should look more into it. Okay, so thanks for watching, and bye.